Is there a conflict of interest when it comes to investing? Taxpayer dollars derived from fossil fuels into banks and money managers that are openly committed to eliminating fossil fuels. That's the question driving 19 states attorneys general to investigate a United Nations backed group of anti-fossil fuel banks. Josh Minney joins us to explain more. The group is called the Net Zero Banking Alliance, and it's a part of a global campaign to effectively phase out fossil fuels. If these banks were to succeed, it would have immeasurable impacts on North Dakota's ag and energy industries, starving them of needed loans and investments. KX News has been trying to get a hold of Attorney General Drew Wrigley and the State Investment Board for over a week to see if they are planning to join the multi-state investigation. So far, no word back yet from the Attorney General's office, and nine of the 11 members of the SIB have not gotten back to us. Only state Treasurer Thomas Beadle and Land Commissioner Joseph Herringer have said they are not in favor of investing taxpayer money into net zero banks. On the federal level, North Dakota U.S. Senator Kevin Kramer has emerged as a leader in the fight against ESG investing. Kramer, a Senate Banking Committee member, introduced the Fair Access to Banking Act, which would prevent discrimination by banks and financial service providers with respect to ESG criteria. We asked Kramer what the state investment board should do about having our money invested in four net zero banking alliance firms well if i was king um of of uh the investment board uh they wouldn't be i guess that that's my personal view i also don't want to oversimplify how difficult it is to turn a ship like that around and i also don't want to presume that there aren't really good people working exactly toward that direction um i don't speak for them but um, no, I mean, I think it's fairly common sense that we would not want to cut our nose to spite our face. And that's what we would be doing. In fact, what we ought to be doing is looking for more opportunities to invest that money right here in North Dakota. Kramer says he expects our state's investments in anti-fossil fuel firms will be a top issue in the upcoming legislative session. To view my full interview with Senator Kramer on ESG investing and the legislation he's introduced on the federal level, Head over to kxnet.com.